welcome to Sweetie Gaming. I am your host, the Speedy Turtle, and we're about to get started on uh, SimCity. Uh, we're going to create our own city and start with some of the basics and start getting some of the tools uh, ready. Also, we're going to see uh, through this tutorial, we're going to learn how to actually integrate a small town and, and uh, to uh, utilize some of our resources so that we can kind of build up our society. So let's begin. Alrighty. Now, looking at this, uh, you might be wondering, well, why are we just starting off with just a bunch of maps? Well, for starters, we kind of need to look for something that'll actually work and something that'll actually kind of be um, an intricate part of our society. So we can start with this map, but I want to keep looking around and seeing if we can uh, find one that'll actually work for us in the long run. So, Cape Trinity. Uh, White Va White Water Valley. Hmm. Reflection. A toll. Serenity Key. Rambling Badlands. Verdant Jung Jungle. Desolation. Viridian Woods. Sunrunner Bay. Discovery Delta. Horizontal Archipelago. Tartan Titan Gorge. Excuse me. Edgewater Bay and Granite Lake. So there's plenty of selections to choose from, but I am looking at Whitewater really closely. Although, I am also looking at Reflection Atoll. Let me know which one you guys want to choose in the comments for later if we want to do another map for uh, uh, some other simulation game. I'm assuming Whitewater will have to be our next solution, so let's click Next. We can name the region, and I will name it uh, Vertigo. No, oh, no, 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 there we go. Sandbox mode, unleash your creativity, all buildings, limited cheats, uh, disasters, and eh. we'll just do that. Uh, claim city, so we can choose from these ser several different boxes here. So what I'm thinking is somewhere next to either a mountainous region or somewhere with a plateau or somewhere where we can just be right by the water so we can kind of get some more resources possibly even think about um, warehouse and trade. So we'll click on this one and oh, okay. Uh, this one's wind, wind power is not very much. Water will probably need oil, ore, and uh, mining or coal for sure. So this is a really good city to actually pick for a small town because there's so many resources to actually choose from on this map. So we'll claim this one. Alrighty, and we'll click play. Now it's called Riverband, however once we get into the map we'll start uh, naming it and doing whatever we need to do to kind of get things started. So let's wait for it to load and okay, content is available. The Roman Casino, okay that's great. Uh, okay, anything else? <sighs> DLC, right? Hey, we got more content for you! Play the game! Okay. All right, so we're gonna look for a place where we can actually keep residents. I mostly pick areas like this specifically because um, I want to pick areas that'll actually be specific for the medium wealth, maybe even high ri high rise, uh, high wealth uh, classes that come into this town. So we want the lower class, the middle class, and the higher class to come and stay in our place. And I'm thinking this is the best. This is the best view right here because you can see the gorge right here and it has all the trees and stuff like that. So we'll start building here. I'm going to start with the roads. Look at how much money I have so far. I have about 50000 in my budget uh, planned so far and I don't even have a town hall yet. Plus we're going to need, once we start uh, placing down some residential zones, we're going to need to start building some taxes. So let's get started on that, shall we? We're gonna have to sm start with low density. I know this is gonna suck because, you know, it's it's so cheap, why would you do that? Because low density roads actually do offer the best options for uh, high class when the, the time arises because then we can actually upgrade later on because most of these sims are still getting accustomed to my city. And I don't want them to just kind of go full blown in and then all of a sudden I am out of money. See, you gotta kind of think smart about this. How much is your road going to cost, even if it's going to break apart? So, we'll start building here. Uh, perfect. Uh, so, look at these lines right here. It shows you how you can grid together to kind of keep your sims in the right place at the right time. 
So notice I'm building these roads specifically for these cars to come in for when they need to move in for their for their houses. And there's going to be a road right here too. This is a very convenient layout. It just helps because I, at least I know uh, how many people are going to be coming in and living here specifically under the under the terms and conditions of how the game sets uh, some of the mathematics behind it. So we're going to start uh, building a road right here as well. So notice I only did at least uh, just four four lanes, four four uh, at least four intersections of road that they can cross through. And um, the, mo the most important thing we're going to be starting off with right now, I we're probably going to have to pause this because we don't want growth to happen immediately. We'll see, we're already losing a, a lot of money as is just because we had spent a lot of money building roads. So um, let's start with our residence. Uh, well, actually, no, we go here. I'm sorry. So we go here. We start building here. See, we have some residential wealth coming in after we start uh, pulling the toggle speed. So now I'm starting to build, build, build. Now, m the most key important thing that you have to uh, factor in is how much money you're going to be able to make while you're building these buildings here. Because the more residents and the more commercialization you have, the more money you're going to make. Because the residents also need jobs. But we also need more residents. So the most important thing we're going to be focusing on right now is to build a ton of residents. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to start with our next road build here. And uh, we're going we're gonna to start developing uh, commercial zones right around here. I think that's kind of a key importance here. i got to finish this right here. Um, so right about here, possibly. And then we're going to keep going here, here, the same layout that we had before, here, here. And we'll get a little creative as we continue through the, through the game, of course, um, because the, the most key, the, the key important thing is to focus on commercialization as well, because you you got to have Sims that want to buy at stores. You got to want them to kind of want them to go to convenience stores or shop for groceries. Those are key important things. So we're gonna start building commercial zones here. What, the reason why I put it at the high residential wealth zone uh, on the very, as you can see right here, um, where I'm placing them, I'm placing them right on the high residential and high wealth zones because right next to this road, this road, this four lane road right here, or the, sorry, this six lane road is actually supposed to be a uh, good for commercialization because it actually offers more jobs probably even medium wealth commercialization jobs and that's going to be a lot of jobs for specifically these sims that are going to be living right by the bay here alrighty so now that we've got that out of the way we're at 32,000 right now so we're going to be a little bit more frugal uh, with how, how much we're going to be paying so for the power plant we're going to need to pay attention to how, uh, how much coal we're going to need to be getting uh, at around these zones. So the best thing we're going to do uh, is we're going to be starting to look at some of the topographical areas here in this map to see where the coal power plant can work best because this, this plant is actually pumping out a ton and a ton of coal. So we're going to look for a coal area here. Okay, it's nighttime. The rain is out. Still keeping it at a very fast pace just to see if we can get enough money. Um, I'm probably going to be building some more residents here alongside, but we're probably going to stop right at this end point here because we don't want to keep going until we get to the coal power plant because the coal power plant is probably not going to uh, deliver for uh, medium wealth, possibly even high residential wealth. So we got to be careful to stay away from the industry when we're placing these zones down because people can get sick. We're going to need hospitals, people are going to get cancer, people are just going to be coughing, and they're going to be like, I can't live anymore! <laughs> ah, that's just the that's just the way of life, though. I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to be like, hey, 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 you losers. You're going to be so sick, you're going to die. I'm going to try to be as merciful as I can to these little sims, but... You know, I'm looking down on them like God, and I'm just like, you know what? You're just living a peaceful life, and sometimes you always feel this little inkling to kind of mess with them a little bit. 
So we're gonna uh, build the road. Do, 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 do. Oh no, we're not gonna go into the region. We're gonna build a road. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Oh, see, notice how I can stretch the roads now. Um, I'm gonna stop right there. And then I'm gonna build the road about here. And then look at this, I've got grids that I can work with and that's wonderful. And I can angle them however way I wish. Sorry, I just ate today. Do, 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 do. All right, so uh, I'm gonna start placing down uh, some more residents to get more income. This is gonna be uh, crucial for me if I'm gonna need to generate more of a profit this time. Because I need to get to probably about a thousand or about 1,500 or more. Right now my population is standing at around 860. It's a small town, kind of like uh, where I used to live in Fillmore. It's about 2,500 people at least. You guys live in a small town? How many, how many people live in your town? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, see, oh wow. See, look at the happiness here. See, so many of these, so, so many of these Sims are gonna be so happy at the fact that they're in a very comfortable place. And they're actually loving the view. I mean, they they can see right across the river and look towards the mountains. That's a very good spot for them. And this is also a very good spot for them because they're right by the main street where they can just go to work. It's convenient for them. I hate the idea of them actually, you know, trying to get a bus to go to work because, you know, they don't really have to. They can actually just come right, they just can just walk, waltz right across and they can go to the store and say, well, I want a hamburger. And they'll be like, sure, here's your hamburger. Do you also want to work here? And they'll be like, yeah, I would love to work at a hamburger joint. And then they'll get a job here. It's just convenient for them. Oh, and there's like a little taco uh, time and there's a pizza place. Oh, and uh, there's like a little uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken uh, over there. There's lots of fast food restaurants. Of course, that's typical for any small town. Um, uh, what's, uh, what do we got here? Um... Okay, so look at these buttons right here. Usually they're gonna go orange or red. So, uh, what I'm probably gonna have to focus on uh, as soon as I get up to about $1,500 uh, uh, of the generation of profit is I'm gonna have to uh, place down uh, a, sewage a sewage plant because I'm, I, let's just face it, the sewage here is terrible. So I'm gonna move all of that sewage possibly to where that power plant is gonna be at. Um, since I'm going to move everything all to uh, industrial here, I'm probably not going to be focusing too much on this area here for residents. So let's place down uh, one. Wait, let's see how much it costs and what the monthly is. That's not a, that's not a lot. That's actually going to help us out a lot. So let's go ahead and place it down. That's going to, you know, where it, look at where it's going right now. All of that sewage is disappearing. Uh, and everybody's not having a problem with plumbing at least. So they're at least going to be a little bit more happier to the fact that they have at least a cleaner city and that there's not much sewage pollution that's taking place over in that general area. Unfortunately, you're going to have problems with sewage pollution over here since I've already placed down, you know, the sewage plant right next to the industrial zones because most of this is probably going to get pre-polluted and people are going to complain regardless and there's not really nothing that I can do about it. However, Sims are going to need jobs. They're going to need to actually go work somewhere. So we're going to focus on that right now. Um, so let's uh, build some industry real quick, if we can. Oh, 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 yeah, and I've got to make sure that I'm... Uh, uh, we're probably going to have to demolish some things to make some room because it's going to get really tight in this map, especially when it's this tiny. So let's uh, build some industry. I'm just, just letting you know that even though you're going to see some things that are going to be like, oh, he just blew that town up or he blew that portion of the town up because he really wanted to see uh, a bunch of things, you know, it was just, uh, he's just like wasting a lot of space. Don't worry. I'm going to blow things up. Well, I'm not going to blow things up. I'm going to demolish some things and then I'm going to leave some space for maybe some trade or possibly even some places to dig. Uh, which is going to be in this coal area spot here. So let's make this uh, uh, industry. And we'll place that here, place that here. We'll probably be careful on this end here. 
Um, I'll probably place other buildings on this side here so that it doesn't coincide with the, the happiness of those sims that are right by it. And I'm going to uh, probably be building a little bit more over here. Um, right here. And then right... All right. Uh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. We're probably going to have this road cross. Just don't bend it too much. Uh, there we go. Perfect. And then right here. And then right here. And then right here. We'll probably put residents here. So let's uh, build some more tech. They're going to need to uh, manufacture and distribute products. And they're also going to need to trade and also store things on this side of town. Okay, good. So, uh, we have a high demand for commercial, as you can see on the very uh, bottom right corner. There's like a little graph, and you can see it's kind of rising up. There's some demand for medium residential. That is a good thing because look at our population right now. That's about the size of my small town, Fillmore. So about 2,700 people are coming to live here. That is a very good thing. And I'm making, I'm generating a profit. I'm making about $2,167. I haven't even placed down education or police stations or even fire stations yet, even though that's a bad thing. Because sooner or later, once I start placing down these, res, uh, these industries, I'm going to have to place down a freaking fire station. And I don't have a fire station yet. So... Um, uh, oh crap, don't do that. Don't do this to me. Okay, there we go. Good. Um, so let's click out of here and let's, uh, okay, so health is going to be an issue. Um, I don't want to place down because let's see how much it's going to afford for, for now on. 20000 for $400, that's still uh, a lot of money for, for health care. Um, we still don't have an approved approval for a fire station yet that's po probably because I need to place down my town hall so we'll do that real quick town hall all right so uh, looking at my government I am thinking uh, placing it in anywhere in these general spaces would really compensate for uh, a, a lucky tradition of high wealth and that's I, I'm thinking we're gonna need to focus here because they're right next to some industrial zones. Some sims are really not all that happy being there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change all that. I'm gonna build government probably here, and then I'm gonna build, look at that, it's shooting up. This is where everybody, I mean, this is where medium wealth is probably gonna be developed here. Okay, yeah, I already named my city, Severus. I, yes, I know, it's okay, you're fine. So, um, Thank you all so much for watching, and if uh, you want more tutorials from me, we'll come back to this city in part two, and uh, we'll keep developing it as we go. We'll start building other cities in and around the region, and possibly even uh, start developing cities in other parts of the regions as well. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and you thought it was informative. Uh, comment and let me know what you thought. Also, um, if we're looking for a series that's going to continue on through, throughout, uh, I hope to get at least more subscribers than I have right now. At least I'm hanging on eight. I am still doing this as a hobby, guys, and I'm just, uh, you know, enjoying what I'm doing so far. But I feel it would be beneficial if I have at least an audience that will be able to uh, enjoy some of the content that I do, because I do work really hard on these videos. Um, I at least try to uh, fix the audio a little bit on some of the other videos that I'm doing right now. Also, I'm trying to uh, uh, build a little bit more of a substantial uh, uh, video to compensate for some of the lack that, uh, thereof that I've had, especially for the past few months. It's just that I have had so many roadblocks, and it's really kind of ticked me off. But I'm going to keep doing more videos for you guys because I love you and because I enjoy it. I, I really don't care. Uh, either way, if I make mistakes, I just know that if I do uh, the very best that I can, at least you'll be able to appreciate some of the stuff that I do. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Eat your chips and your frosties, and I will see you in the next video.